Okay, everybody, do you know what is this right here? That's right, you know, this is the Samsung washer and dryer down here, the RT Energy Star in HE. And which is, you know, it has nine cycles. There's model number down here, so pause it if you can read this. And I know it's in the child lock yet, but I'll just do that in a moment. So, uh, it has nine cycles on this thing. I'll close the door because Grandmother and Mary is actually talking, but. And I hope you don't mind this one is actually making noise. With this GE water filter. So this is the exact Samsung washer and has a lid lock. 56 minutes on normal cycle. Okay. Firm press 47 minutes. Delicate hand wash 40 minutes. Quick wash 35 minutes. Per cycle 54 minutes. Rinse spin 22 minutes. Spin 12 minutes. Editing. 81 minutes, heavy duty 71 minutes, and 56 minutes is normal cycle. And you might know there's a signal, I have not done yet, but I'm just gonna let a child not go its thing. Okay, so the child lock is actually flashing, so that's why they don't pause or start or power it off or something but let's just turn it off right. holding on to the child lock is a good idea I mean it's just child who won't mess with those washer and I'll check on the dryer after the washing machine so I think that'll be uh, on the my cycle maybe can be the programming machine but can you, okay, comment down below how much cubic foot is this tub right here, so. And do you know what's actually good at is the high spin cycle? Is, I like how the lid is actually locked during the spin, or wash or rinse or something, but it's just adjusting the time remaining. So, spin cycle, I think it is time to initiate this. is actually wider. The lights doesn't actually flicker while I was videoing. I mean, it's just a camera who does that. It's on full speed. Oh yeah, it's into the high speed. Now it's five minutes now.
like you guys never heard it before, but listen. Did this thing turn off? Okay, that's all? That's it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, the spin cycle is awesome. I mean, good God. Not bad. And, and as you can tell, this uh, impeller is having a movement. Okay, I was gonna hold on the tub and then you can hear the, whatever the sound was. I don't know where to tell about this washer. Good God, this thing turned off. No more noise whatsoever. So all done with this Samsung washing machine with the spin cycle on there, so. So we'll move on to the dryers, the moisture sensor. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has nine cycles too, but I do have four cycles on my dryer and my house. So let's turn it on. It says when it's flashing, you have to check the wind. I think it stops flashing, so that's why. There's the switch right here, which is, you know, you know not to mess with this thing. So here's the heating element. So here's the model number, so pause it if you can read this. It's clean before each load. So. so, close it up, and the dings. And then the door closes, so. So, normal cycles 44 minutes, sanitize 62 minutes, time dry, which is you know you have to pick the times or just pick the adjust time cycle. So, because after if you press those both buttons, it won't let. Hold on, when you press this, it won't allow you to do whatever that thing do. So, I'll show you what happens. So, when you press this, it doesn't let you uh, change whatever those things, so. So. So, just like if I did it last time, like a washing machine. So, here we go. So, child locks. So, that's why. If this thing runs, maybe it's just not letting children mess with those things. So, let's just turn it off. Um, so time dry is 40 minutes, quick dry 30 minutes, wrinkle release, manual 25 minutes, 32 minutes, delicates, beddings 52 minutes, per minute press 34 minutes, heavy duty 60 minutes, and normal 44 minutes. For the reason I think I put this on heavy duty cycle is I put up on 60 minutes uh, cycle on Whirlpool dryer. So I was wishing if I can get the LG with the uh, with the uh, time dry or if I do get the GE or what. But I still got Maytag in the house or Whirlpool in the house. But we'll just do a quick run on those time dry cycle or normal cycle on dryers. So. When you open this door, it gives you a D, E, error code, which is the downer D and upper E. So you make sure you have to pause it. Or you can pause it if you can open the door. Before you close it, and then resume the cycle. So let's just run it quickly and I'll show you the error codes. So make sure you have to pause it before opening the door it is heating but it's just but it says high it's just heating on it is heating up so when you open this door 
I'll show you what is actually happening to error code. And you can see the DE error code, but make sure you do not break the washer or dryer. Or if you have your problem or you have the repairing problems on the both appliance as well. So this is turned off. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the Samsung washer and dryer. Which is, you know, this is the uh, song of end of cycle on this washing machine. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed looking at Mary's washer and dryer. So. Have a good day and stay washing.